one day I told my dad, I want to make this a business. And he said, knock yourself out. And I did. I learned to knit when I was eight. My aunt taught me when we went out to Chicago and visited her. And um, I knitted for about a year after that. Well, a year. And then when the year passed, I was still knitting. And I was just like, so what am I doing? I'm just knitting scarves. And I had a big bag of scarves. And I didn't have anything that I wanted to do with them. So my dad, he said, why don't you sell them? And I was just like, oh, um, okay, okay. I can get all the profits to myself. And then we read a book, um, it was about Heifer International. And it was about, it was called Give a Goat, I think. And a school had a car wash and they gave all the money to um, Heifer International and they bought a goat for a woman in Africa. And so right then it started off as a bake sale, but by the end of the day, it was a full out carnival. I have two businesses that soon to be three, one of them is called the Knitting Army. Um, we knit throughout the summer and then in the fall slash winter, we sell our products and half of the money goes to a selected charity and the other half we keep so that we can keep doing what we love to do. I think that one of the important things that I think has really had an impact on my life is my parents when I was really young, they realized that I was addicted, addicted to any screen. We've become like a little, our own little community, and we love to make a difference. So the Knitting Army and the Carnival, we all come together. So with my first couple of scarves, I dropped so many stitches that my aunt was sure the scarf would just end up a tangle of yarn because I dropped so many. And so she and my mom came up with a way to make sure that the drop stitches didn't drop. They put little bows on them. To me, it means that you are able to be listened to and that you want to make a difference with it. You don't just use it and say, oh, I got a voice. Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? You know what to do and you take charge of that. To be a young person today to me, it means that you are just starting out and now is the time to make mistakes and find who you really are and make a difference and really just stand out.